So this is ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle related problem. Um, we'll try to understand the problem at first and then we'll solve it. So you can see guys, the TS diagram is given here and all informations we will get from here. So a refrigerator uses refrigerant 134A. So um, this is actually the working fluid and it operates on an ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle between these two pressure you can see the pressure is given point uh, on 4 mpa and point 8 mpa the mass flow rate is given 0 0.5 kg per second we need to determine the rate of heat removal from the refrigerant space this is you know the rate of heat removal uh, from refrigerant space so that's we need to calculate we need to calculate um, you can see the power input of the compressor and we need to calculate the rate of heat rejections to the environment and the COP you know the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator so the first one is um, the rate of heat removal from the refrigerant space so you know we need to calculate QL and uh, the power input okay so that means how much work we need in we need to calculate the uh, the rate of heat rejections to the environment we need to calculate that means q haze and finally cop all right so we'll start with the uh, you know calculations so at first we we should write down some assumptions so as you know we'll write down some similar assumptions we'll say this is a steady state device and finally we'll say that um, the kinetic and the potential energy change uh it will be let's say uh, we can write it down like this so it will be equivalent to zero it is negligible so that's all of our assumptions so now when we will start with the analysis so th for analysis actually if try to understand this TS diagram um this is the phase one two three four okay so for different uh, phases here for different states um, you can see this is isentropic compression happening in this section um, we used especially for ideal vapor compression cycle if you can remember we discussed we used the expansion valve due to the expansion valves um, this point actually if we use the turbine then it should be uh, isentropic expansion here then the point will be forest but we use the throttling valve so it moves like here so you can say these two points it's the difference is negligible maybe that we will decide later on here what you can see at this stage it is saturated vapor at stage two this is superheated vapor and this is saturated liquid right this is the mixture reason you know this um, from first of you know first two three weeks we discussed this so actually here when we will start with the analysis the first thing we will do is we will calculate the enthalpy um, because we are looking for QL, QHase and we said the kinetic and the potential energy is zero if I say let's say that the heat theta equal let's say m um, kinetic energy you know half mv square you know mg haze and you know we, we, we should not write mg haze we can say when we put the mass okay i think let's say kinetic energy <coughs> i should write this way kinetic energy potential energy and enthalpy okay so the kinetic energy potential energy all zero so that means we need the mass into enthalpy that means the enthalpy difference if if you can remember if we want to calculate this ql between this process one and four so the ql we can write it is you know the according to the formula we can say hey one minus hey four and as we have the mass flow rate we need to include the mass flow rate here 
so that means if we want to calculate ql wa and qh whatever it is we need the enthalpy so what i will do is initially i will calculate the enthalpy for all of these four stages one two three four so let's do that and if we want to do that let's if we try to calculate the enthalpy for state one so for state one we know the pressure it is given 0 0.14 mpa in the question you can see the cycle between 0 0.14 to 0 0.8 okay so this is the pressure given so for this pressure we will try to understand actually um, we will try to get the enthalpy and we will also calculate the entropy here this is TS diagram we can easily do that so this is that it is at you know saturated saturation reason you see it is on the saturation type line so we need to use actually table A12 uh, here the saturated refrigerant you can see table A12 uh, the pressure was uh, 0.14 MP, MPA we can approximate this is uh, you, you know how to calculate actually these properties so 0 0.140 so this is 140 so that means point it is kpa so if we convert it into mpa it should be 0 0.14 so you need the enthalpy if we draw a line like this you see this is actually the enthalpy 239.19 and if you want to get the entropy Entropy is for the saturated reason, um, you know, it is nine four four six seven. So, this is actually the entropy and the enthalpy. I believe you know actually how to get these values. So, now we'll write down these two values. So, what we can write here is we can say that haze one, we can say it is equal haze g at rate of 0 0.14 MPA so at this condition we can approximate it is saturated so 239.19 kilojoule per kg and similarly S1 uh, it will be 0 0.94467 kilojoule per kg Kelvin so this is for state 1 so now if we go for this state 2 so for state 2 what is the pressure pressure is 0 0.8 mpa and it is isentropic compression so the pressure you know the entropy s1 and s2 it is same so as it is a isentropic change so you know entropy is not changes changing so it should be equal so at this state at this state e we know the pressure we know the entropy and it is in the in which region it is in the superheated vapor region right so now what we need to do is we need to use the superheated refrigerant table yeah, here so look carefully the pressure is uh, 0 0.8 so that's the point and we have got the entropy is you know 0 0.94467 so look where it is um, 94467 so you, you, you will you'll see entropies this is 9481 right so this is 9181 so you need to and this is actually the corresponding enthalpy so you need to do some interpolations so you know how to do this interpolation so i'm not going to show you i'll write down the final value the haze 2 it is equal to 275.40 kilojoule per kg so that's it now for a state 3 you know p3 so state 3 this is same pressure 0 0.8 mpa so for this pressure we can write down okay the haze 3 it is equal Haze F at the rate of you know 0 0.8 MPA because it is on the saturation in a line. So this is in you know, a saturated liquid. So we will uh, get it from the 
table I'm not showing you again so it is 95.48 kilojoule per kg and we discussed earlier this has 3 and has 4 uh, actually this is you know in between these two processes we have a throttling valves so since throttling process is isentropic and for ideal gas uh, actually uh, enthalpy is function of t right so enthalpy is function of t so t does not change for ideal gas during the throttling processes um, here we usually replaced for for ideal vapor compression we replace the you know the turbine and we use the throttling processes so then this point moves to here otherwise if it is turbine it should be in forest so we assume that uh, this change is negligible okay um, just for the simplicity otherwise it will be complicated to solve this question analytically so we said this haze 3 the enthalpy at haze 3 and for haze 4 they are um, during this throttling process we said there you know the change is negligible so you can say H3, H4 it is equal to the same, 95.48 kilojoule per kg. So we have got all these values. So now um, see the first part of the question is it was asking about the rate of heat removal from the refrigerant space. That means what is the QL. So if we want to calculate the QL, we know the mass flow rate M and the enthalpy difference. So it is H1 minus H4, isn't it? So mass flow rate is 0 0.5 it is kg per second uh, into haze 1 is you know 239.19 and it is 95.48 kilojoule per kg so we will get ql it is equal 7.19 kilowatt so this is um, actually you know the amount of heat removal from the refrigerant space so the second part is asking about the work input how much work we need so if we actually calculate the work input let's say the work in so that means this on so that's the enthalpy difference between the one and two so we can say it's mass flow has two minus has one right this is a simple formula you know so the mass flow rate 0 0.05 i'm not writing the units again and again so H2 is, um, you know, we calculated to 75.40 and H1 is 239.19. So then it will be 1.81 kilowatt. So this is actually the work in. So we have got the work in, we have got the, you know, the heat removal from the refrigerant space. Now the third part of this question it is asking about, you know, the rate of heat rejections from the environment, um, you know, to the environment, okay. So that means Q has. We need to calculate the Q has how much it where the system is rejecting to the environment. So Q has um, it is again same. We can say M and it will be from this process two and three. So you can say it is has two minus has three. So M is zero point zero five and has two is you know two seventy five point four zero. Has three is um we calculated h3 is 95.48 so this value it will be q has you know it will be 9 kilowatt so this is you know the q has so in other words we can we can we can calculate this q has um in other way there is the formula actually q has it is ql over q sorry it will be the o the work input so if you um, use this formula even you will get q has okay so that's the same thing um, so now what we'll do is the last part of this problem is we need to calculate the cop the coefficient of performance cop uh, of the refrigerator so cop of the refrigerator it is actually called you know the the amount of heat removal from the refrigerant space that means that's actually the desired output and the work in uh, so we discussed all of you know this formula we discussed in a couple of weeks back 
we discuss uh, during the lecture as well. Um, so it is QL over W in so QL is 7.19 it is kilowatt W in is 1.8 on kilowatt so it is 3.97 it's a dimensionless unit um, because we can simply eliminate this kilowatt here so that means the refrigerant so this is the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator so that means the refrigerator removes um, you know amount 4 units of thermal energy from the refrigerant space for each unit of the electric energy uh, that it usually uh, use. So um, this is how uh, you have to solve the problem. But if you have some problem which is related to the you know the actual vapor compression refrigerant cycle, we'll discuss your tutor will solve some similar problem during the tutorials. Um, yeah, so that's it.